quadratic expression y is equal to ax square plus bx plus c when it is sketched it is in the form of a parabola it may take this form or this form now we are learning to find out whether the given quadratic expression has a minimum value and what is that value or does it have a maximum value and what is that value so we change the format of this given expression to y is equal to y is equal to a bracket x minus h whole square plus k so in case the value turns out to be minimum the coordinates of the value are hk and if it is maximum again the coordinates are hk but how do we know is it maximum or minimum this coefficient a determines that if a is positive the quadratic expression will have a minimum value irrespective of the size we don't have to see it's big or small but only is it positive if it is positive then the expression has a minimum value and if a is negative then hk will be a maximum value Before we go for the changing of the quadratic expression into a different form, let's have a look at the basic quadratic formulas. a plus b whole square is square of the first term plus 2 times first term into second term plus square of the second term. If here is a negative sign, then the formula is a minus b whole square that is square of the first term minus 2 times first term times the second term plus square of the second term. Now, if we have an expression x square minus 4x and we wish to complete the square, now we will rewrite it in the form first term 2 times first term and in order to find the second term, this coefficient is divided by 2. And this gives us the second term. Now if you watch, if you simplify this to 2 to the 4x, so you get this back. By this breakup, now we can see that the second term is 2. And we need to complete the square is 2 squared. Now we have an expression y equal to 2x square minus 8x plus 11 and we want to change its form in this form. So the first step is that we take the two terms separately and keep the constant away. From these two terms, whatever is the coefficient of x square which is 2 in this case, we take that common. So you have x square minus 4x. By Now we would like to complete the square for these two terms. So this is the first term, minus 2 times first term. And we know that dividing 4 by 2, we will get the second term and we need to add square of the second term to complete the square. Since we have added this term at our own, we shall subtract the same term so that the given expression remains the same. Now these three terms can be reduced to a minus b square and the rest of the things will come the, as they are.
expression y equal to 2x square minus 8x plus 11 has been changed to 2x minus 2 whole square plus 3. Now let's compare this form to the given form. Now a is 2, so this is positive. So h is 2 and k is 3. So we have 2, 3 as minimum. value because a which is 2 is positive 